Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna make chicken roast. Uh, so I started already with uh, just warming up some oil, um, two cloves of garlic, and I'm gonna go get the chicken. Now. Uh, the chicken I let marinate from last night and some uh, lemons and uh, I just put some uh, Oregano, uh, some vinegar, salt, rosemary, and that's it. And then when I took it out of the Ziploc, I just put the lemons inside the chicken. So the oil nice and warm. I'm gonna put the chicken right inside. Gonna, just gonna make it tan a little bit. Get some color, and then we're gonna cook it up. Our chicken is nice and tan right now, so we're gonna take it out for a second. Right. Just be careful, then. you know, make sure make sure you don't drop it. Oh, uh, slow. All right, now that the juice and stuff, we're gonna do just like that. And I'm gonna put a bed of carrots. I'm gonna make this carrot absorb and get some water. I'm gonna let those carrots absorb all that juice. Meanwhile, I already had the. Well, I was gonna do this in the in the grill, but you can use the you can use the oven tube. Uh, you know, medium heat, like 400, 400 Fahrenheit should be alright. I'm gonna try to uh, leave it in the in the grill for like uh, an hour and a half, something like that, maybe an hour. Alright, so we got our bed of carrots all set up. There you go. I'm gonna shut the fire off. And I'm gonna put the Mr. Chicken back. Oh, this is chicken. Back in, in the stall. There you go, right there. All right, so we're gonna cover this guy. And with the chicken, I was gonna make uh, potatoes. But the potatoes, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do any preparation. All I need uh, is some potatoes.
So I'm gonna put some potatoes. I cut them little pieces just in two, not too small. Uh, some golden potatoes and some red potatoes. Basically, whatever I found in the fridge that needed to go, I'm gonna put in here. Tomatoes. I just cut in half, just small, small tomatoes. Some onions. I just, uh, you know, I think it's just like just like half an onion. So I'm just gonna leave it a big piece because it's gonna, it's gonna melt, really. So I'm not gonna leave like big pieces. And then I also found in my fridge I had some zucchini, so zucchini is gonna go here too. I'm gonna put some olive oil. Some salt. And I'll depend on your taste, how much salt you want. Garlic powder. Some cumin. Some black pepper, some oregano, and some balsamic vinegar. it all up. Just like little drops. That's it. And then we cover it. I'm gonna put it in the grill. I'll see you later. All right, guys, it's been an hour and a half. I took it out of the, uh, the grill. Chicken is good. So I'm gonna just leave it for, you know, good 20 minutes just to relax. Um, the Dutch oven, this thing holds heat really good, so should be alright. Let's shake the potatoes. There you go. Potatoes looking good. Cooked pretty good. We're gonna close it. I'll leave it for another 20 minutes. Just to uh, calm down. And then same thing, this is not a Dutch oven, holds the heat pretty good, so for another 20 minutes, just they're gonna be good. I'll see you then. Hi right, guys, here's the potatoes. Here's the chicken. I put some salad in there too. The chicken is uh, fully cooked. You know, left it for like an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, the the carrots. I usually put the carrots like this. It, it helps. You know, doesn't doesn't burn from the bottom because it's a high heat. Well, it's not really high. It's like around four four hundred four fifty. That's that's. The temperature the potatoes are fully cooked too nice and soft I already helped myself but yeah I hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe bye